Recently I've been collaborating with furniture maker Jordan Leaflang on the Ripple Collection. It's a collaboration between ceramics and furniture where a ceramic surface is inlaid into a furniture piece. Um, it's been fantastic for my own practice as well because I've started to throw larger work and design beyond the vessel. Jam Factory has been an incredibly inspiring space to create in. There's such a wealth of diverse craft knowledge and everyone is so passionate about what they're doing. Having conversations with people from other disciplines makes you really think about your processes in a whole new way. Silversmithing can be really traditional and you can definitely get trapped in the rules of the craft. But when you're surrounded by people experimenting and crossing disciplines, things don't seem quite as taboo. The Salute Lighting Collection came to life through a collaboration between myself and Liam Fleming. It was this collaboration between artisanal glass blowing and contemporary product design that resulted in the effortless union that is the Salute Lighting Collection. The collaboration with Dean Topher on the Salute Pendant Light has been this wonderful crossover between industrial design and craft. The digital process has assisted in bringing together glass and metal in this seamless design. I came to the Jam Factory trained as a traditional furniture maker, but during my associate program I was able to work across a range of mediums and through collaborative efforts with other artists develop more of a multidisciplinary practice and now create sculptures consisting of stone, steel and ceramic elements. Over the last two years, artists from Ningu have been collaborating with Jam Factory, creating blown glass works from original designs painted and fired at a remote studio in the APY lands. This project has opened up a world of opportunities for our younger artists like Celinda Davidson to carve new creative pathways through ongoing exchange between two very special cooperative art centers nearly half a continent apart. I'm collaborating with ceramic designers Anthony Murphy. Together we created the Ripple side table and are looking to progress that into a furniture range. Uh, both being a part of the associate program at Jam Factory has allowed us to gain insights into each other's mediums and this has in turn sparked ideas. Uh, interactions like this happen really naturally at Jam Factory. By collaborating with a different designer, it has allowed me to reflect on and challenge my designing and making skills. practice at the moment I'm really interested in incorporating hot and cold glass processes together to create new designs and objects. Um, I'm really interested in the, the legacy and history of glass making and these specific processes that I use have such long traditions and histories um, throughout various different countries and I'm interested in pinpointing a few of those pieces that really speak to me and bringing them into a contemporary context. I'm enamoured with pattern making and sand casting, pragmatic industrial processes that I've been exposed to during my time at Jam Factory and since become particularly interested in incorporating in my contemporary design practice. During 
my time at Jam Factory, my practice has expanded through material collaboration between textiles and timber. These lights feature a collaboration between myself and local metal fabricator Martin Murray at George Street Studios. This collaboration with industry helped me develop more robust, intelligently constructed steel frames to allow my wrapping to extend into light and large-scale sculpture. As a ceramic artist, a major part of my practice is producing tableware for restaurants and wineries. By working directly with chefs over the years, I've been able to develop my craft and produce a livelihood from ceramics. The crossover then to get out of the studio and into commercial kitchens, talk to chefs and uh, work with them producing custom designs, is really an experience that's been unique in my industry. Mm -hmm.